Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you to talk about a little thing that has helped me along the way in recovery. And it's just one of those things that kind of makes your day a little bit easier and smoother. And so what I have found all through my recovery is getting up in the morning and having some time to really get my mindset in the right place before the day starts or gets going has really been useful. And that was even when um, I really was just going back to bed <laughs> after I got up and got out of bed. So, because sometimes, you know, you're, the cognitive issues that we all face with this, um, it takes a little while to really get your mind streamlined. And, and something that I really found that I enjoyed were these this little deck of cards by Louise Hay. And if you're familiar with her work, this is called I Can Do It Cards. And um, she's got a lot of really interesting things to say about healing the body. And so what it is, is it's just a little deck of cards and it's got pictures and little sayings on them. And I would just sit with my little tea or my little decaf espresso and just go through the cards. And I just wanted to share some of these little um, phrases on them with you. Uh, this one, for instance, is for every challenge that I may encounter, I'm confident that I can find a solution. And the other side says, life supports me in every way possible. And you know, I just think that's a real key uh, lesson for us in recovery. And as we begin to mull over these things, you're kind of meditating on the words as you read them. What it does is you're putting this into your subconscious. And you're beginning to say life supports me in every way possible because when you've got CFS and you're debilitated, the opposite feels true, is that life is not supporting you, that people aren't supporting you, that things aren't supporting you, that bo your body isn't supporting you, friends and family aren't supporting, and you could go on. But that's not going to be helpful or supportive to our recovery path. So I'm a real believer that the things that we speak eventually manifest. I think that's just a, a principle that's set in place in this universe. And um, you find it, you know, even in ancient texts like the Bible that talks about, you know, in the power, it, life and death reside in the power of the tongue. And so it's really important that the things that we speak to ourselves are positive and life affirming all through the recovery process and after. So um, again, some of these, I just want to read a couple of them. I listen with love to my body's messages. Isn't it so easy to listen with disdain and irritation and aggravation that our body isn't doing what we wanted it to do? And yet, there are messages that the body is sending us in love, and it's important for us to listen to those with love. Um, the other side of this says, my body is always working toward optimum health. My body wants to be whole and healthy. I cooperate and become healthy, whole, and complete. Isn't that a beautiful thing to ponder on first thing in the morning? You know, to, to think about and to set your day thinking, my body wants to be healthy and whole. And I believe that healing really does begin in the mind. It's going to be worked out in the body, but we, we can't neglect this matter between our ears. We need to uh, influence it just as we're influencing our body with the good foods that we eat and the supplements that we may be taking and any uh, anything that we're doing, the movement routine that we're doing, the juicing, you know, all those things I've been doing in my recovery. But really, um, my morning devotion time, I've heard it called contemplation revelation, which is a really neat phrase, time is just so important. I just don't think I could have gotten through so many days had I not spent some time in the morning really focusing on these things. Like here's one, it is no fun being a victim. I refuse to be helpless anymore. I claim my own power. And that's really powerful for us because I know it's really easy to slip into that victimization mode. I know I was in it for a really long time and I felt victimized by the illness. I felt victimized because I didn't feel there was anything that I could do to get better and that nothing was working. Everything I tried, you know, wasn't working. And so I just really felt like a victim. And 
I know one way to stop that victimization cycle for me was gratitude. Focusing on what I was thankful for, that I could do, I had sight, I had hearing, I could taste things, you know, <laughs> you know, you get to the real basics, I can walk, you know, <laughs> you can get to the real basics when you've got CFS severe on things that you can be thankful for, but when you start focusing on those, you are less of a victim and you begin to have more power and you begin to take responsibility. And so it was really through a series of searching until I finally found some resources that helped me, but it was shifting that mindset originally so I wasn't in that victimization mode. So uh, let's see what other ones are really good that I pulled out here. I get the help when I need, when I need it from various sources. My support system is strong and loving. Now again, this may not feel real to you. It may not feel like the truth, but that's really not relevant. The important thing is to begin to tell yourself this and then it does become true down the road and you'll see it. Um, I was kind of amazed at this as I was going through these cards. One of these cards in here says, I meditate daily and benefit from all of its um, and, and enjoy all of its benefits. And I never had meditated. And even as I went through these cards, meditation was not even something on my you know, foreseeable future. Uh, but I would read that one thing that's interesting and I would just read it. And it's funny because after leaving these cards for a while and coming back to them, I had developed the practice of meditation. It was really, you know, amused when I found that card and go, oh my gosh, like meditation's a part of my life now. And I was introduced to that concept through these cards, though it never, at the time, I never thought of doing it. So it's really interesting how these, uh, by putting affirmations, declarations into your life, like I do a lot of declarations of healing scriptures over my body and over my life daily, it's amazing how much over time you really see the benefits of that. You're not going to see it the next day and even the next week, but if you, if you cultivate the practice and the habit, you're really going to see some um, very amazing things take place in your life. So anyway, that's just something kind of fun. Just wanted to show you my little cards and my decks. I've got other ones that I really enjoy. I don't want to get too long in this video, but another time I'll go over some of these, um, which were actually created by a friend of mine who had has CFS. And they're beautiful. And the thing about it is once I got her deck, it was so funny because I told her, so pretty much all of your lessons are the same lessons I've been learning in this journey. And it's just funny how we really resonate with each other. And I think that so many of us in recovery do because we're, we're traveling the same path. We're traveling the same journey. And it's a challenging one. However, we uh, are finding our way out. So anyway, with that, I want to leave you with a reminder that life is not over. It's starting again. Take care, warriors. Hope the information was useful for you. If it was, please give me a like and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, hit that little bell so I can ring your bell the next time I put out a video. If you are looking for some fellowship with other people on the journey, be sure to check me out on Facebook with CFS Warriors Forum and also CFS Warriors page. So anyway, we'll hope to see you on the other side.